Hello, welcome to Maths with J. So we've got a double integral to do here and it looks quite tricky because the inner integral has got an x multiplying a trig function with an x in it as well. Now luckily the limits on our integrals are constants, in particular the, the limits on the, uh, the inner one are constants, so this means we can actually swap these around. So we can integrate the inner integral with respect to y and the outer one with respect to x. So it's very simple to do, we just need to change the order of integration. So our x is going to be on the outside, so x going from pi to 3 pi by 2 is going to be our outer integral and the inner one will have y equals 1 to 4 and we still have exactly the same x sine xy here but now we will have dy dx. So that means that our inner integral will be fixing x, so it will be as if x is a constant. So what we're doing here is partial integration. It's rather like partial differentiation. So let's start. So we leave the x equals pi to 3 pi by 2 as it was, and now we do the integration. So we're looking at x sine xy dy, so y is the variable, x can be considered to be a constant. So we'll just write the constant x down, and then integrating sine, well that will give us minus cos, so let's put the minus outside here and put the cosine in here. The angle, as before, will be xy, and we need to divide by what we're multiplying the y by, in other words x and our limits there are going to be put in in a moment. y goes from 1 to 4, and then we want the dx at the end there. So we can simplify that. Oops. x going from pi to 3 pi by 2, and the x over x will cancel, so we've just got minus cos xy, to substitute our limits into y equals 4 and y equals 1 there, dx. So now we can substitute in those limits. So this bit still remaining as it was. And then we're going to substitute in y equals 4. So that will give us minus cos of 4x. And then substitute in y is 1. So that will give us minus minus, so that will be plus cos x, and we want to integrate with respect to x. So we don't really need to have the x equals on the integral anymore because we don't have a y, there's going to be no confusion. So let's just rub that out. So now we've got a straightforward integral to do. So integrating minus cos 4x, well Cosine integrates to sine, doesn't it? And we want to divide by 4, so it's minus a quarter of sine 4x. And then integrating cos gives us sine. And then we just need to put the limits in. So that will give us minus a quarter sine of 6 pi plus sine of 3 pi by 2, and then we will want to subtract negative a quarter sine of 4 pi plus sine pi. Now sine of 6 pi, 4 pi and pi is 0, so all we're left with is sine of 3 pi by 2, so we get an answer of minus 1. 